Hello YouTube. My name is Medley. Today I would like to tell you about my very first American Girl doll, when and why I got her, and what in the world is going on with her eye. This is Kirsten. Um, I got her Christmas of 1993, so we've been together for quite some time. Before I got her, this what actually was not my doll of choice. My friends started getting dolls and my richest friend, <laughs> she got Samantha. And now Samantha, when I was younger, I really wasn't digging the whole brown hair, brown eye thing, even though now I think it's totally gorgeous. But back then I had blonde hair and blue eyes and so I thought that was pretty cool. But I actually wasn't looking at Kirsten as the doll that I wanted. When my friend got Samantha, she told me that I should have Kirsten because I had blonde hair and blue eyes and Kirsten had blonde hair and blue eyes. I even had bangs. But I wanted Molly. I wanted Molly because I was obsessed with glasses and Molly had glasses. That was pretty much the only reason. Well, another friend of mine got Molly. And when I found out she got Molly, I was kind of, you know, resigned to the fact that I would not be getting Molly because you can't have the same doll as somebody else, right? And that's like wearing the same outfit to school as, as your friend. You just can't do that. So I decided, well, I better get used to the idea of Kirsten because obviously she's the only doll left that I should um, get. You know, there was Felicity, but I really... <laughs> Did not like her neon green eyes. I, they were kind of terrifying to me for some reason. <laughs> and I thought her clothes were kind of ugly. Sorry, Felicity. I love you now. So I started just staring at the catalog. Full-size pictures of Kirsten and her things. And just dreaming of Kirsten and what she would be like. And if I could fit her hat on my head. My spatial skills were, were not so great back then. <laughs> Christmas morning usually Santa brought like kind of the weird toys that my parents wouldn't have gotten us you know he, he, Santa doesn't want to outdo mom and dad but this Christmas was was different all of us kids had a big huge bags full of toys and my bag had tons of little tiny boxes inside and one big box and so being the kind of kid I was I would open up all the smaller boxes first. So I'm opening up a little box that's got an outfit in it and then another little outfit and another little outfit. And to my great surprise, some glasses were in there too. And I was so happy. By the time it got to the big box, I knew what was in there and I could not wait to open up Kirsten and she did not disappoint. I opened her. I wish I had video footage of that or even just a photo because I was so happy and the fact that there were glasses for Kirsten, you better believe the first thing I did was take these puppies and stick them right on her little face and <laughs> she went around with glasses all the time because I was obsessed with glasses. I didn't have glasses back then. I wanted them really bad. Be careful what you wish for. Kirsten went everywhere with me. I even took her to picture day in the fifth grade. I found a dress that was green with a cream trim on it, just like her green dress. So I wore that and took her with me and we just kind of went everywhere together and, and did everything. My family knew how much I loved my Kirsten and my brothers, they weren't really into the doll thing. Actually, they were really not into the doll thing. They took a cabbage patch, not, not mine, but one of the neighbor's kids and actually lit it on fire. So they weren't too keen on dolls. But this one time we uh, went down to California to visit family. This is after we moved to Alaska. I took Kirsten with me and my friend, 
had a Kirsten, an old Kirsten, but she got it at a garage sale. This Kirsten had a broken off arm, its legs were dangly, and it was in really, really bad shape. Had like braces drawn on the teeth and everything. My friend thought it would be pretty funny if I took that back to my grandparents' house where we were staying and pretend like it was my Kirsten. So <laughs> I put on my best acting face and I, I carried in this broken Kirsten with tears in my eyes and Kirsten had an accident. And my brother jumped up and he's like, what, what, who, who broke your doll? Who broke your doll? And <laughs> I had to calm him down by bringing out my real Kirsten and showing him, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. She's fine, she's fine. Um, cause he was about to punch somebody. I knew from that day forward, my brother would always have my back. So it was pretty cool. That's my Kirsten. I have so many stories of her, but I'll leave it at that for today. I know you all would like to know what is going on with her eye here. When American Girl dolls get older, some of them will get a defect in their eye that is either called silver eye or bubble eye, depending on what exactly is going on here. My Kirsten actually has what's called bubble eye, and it's just when the decal or the paint inside of the eye is coming loose from the clear plastic part of the eye. And so you'll see the clear plastic instead of seeing the color behind it, and their eyes will turn silver or it'll, the pupil will detach and it will get like a bubble shape. It doesn't hurt the doll, obviously. They're all right, just a little older like the best of us. You can actually get that replaced at the American Girl Doll Hospital. I refuse to do that because I love Kirsten just the way she is. She doesn't need a new eye. Her eyes have seen so much in 28 years. Um, I, I, I wouldn't change her for the world. Now, okay, disclaimer, I did change one tiny thing. Her hair used to be so, well, I cut it and it was like straw. So, so once I started collecting more American Girl dolls and things, I found another Kirsten and took the wig off of that Kirsten and put it on my Kirsten so that she could have beautiful hair again. Because when I was young, I was stupid and I didn't realize you were supposed to use a wire brush for your doll's hair. And I just used like Barbie brushes, like the plastic Barbie brushes. And no, it it ruined her, her poor hair. So I did do that, but I'm never getting rid of her head because when you send a doll into the doll hospital and they replace the eyes, they just usually just give them a new head. And Kirsten and I have been through too much together. Um, I don't even want to replace the eye myself, which I could do. I've popped out many eyes. <laughs> no, I think it gives her character and shows her age shows that we have grown up together side by side. I'm an odd one and I feel like my dolls have a bit of a soul and that they speak to me. And I know that's very strange and logically I know that's probably not true, but in my heart of hearts, that's how I feel. So if you feel the same, you are welcome here with me. Um, if not, you're just curious about these crazy adult doll collectors, well, you're in the right place as well. I hope you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. This is December 25th. 1993. Ooh. Christmas no, morning. Santa's got good handwriting. Anything, huh? From the pleasant company. Kirsten's stuff. Look. Hey, that's no deal well, with our Kirsten. Well, I bet Kirsten. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, well, he probably knows that she's going to buy Kirsten. She's been saving her money, huh? Yeah. And she has over $80. And I have $27. <laughs> glasses! <laughs> Dog glasses! I bet
This dancer could do anything. 